915, I'm John Aaron. And I'm Kyle Cooper. Garfield is back in theaters this holiday weekend. Say when. Never, John. Bury me in cheese. I talked about that and more on Skype with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World. They are relaunching this franchise with Chris Pratt as the voice. I don't know uh, about Chris Pratt being like every voice now. He was our Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie. I, I still kind of like that tender voice we got from the cartoon as well as Bill Murray. So, you know, voice aside, though, I think they're scoring again. Uh, I love Garfield. Uh, we're getting a new character in the father of Garfield that we get introduced by the name of Vic, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Um, we get basically a father-son story that I totally wasn't expecting. Uh, but we have all the classic Garfield, Odie, John uh, type atmosphere. Mm. Uh, we also have a wonderful uh, villain cat played by Hannah Waddingham, uh, who we know from Ted Lasso. It's a fun little ride. Nice. We have a Mad Max spinoff of sorts in theaters. Tell us about Furiosa. Yes, John, did you go down the Fury Road not too long ago uh, with George Miller when he relaunched the franchise? I did not. You have to clue me in. Oh, my gosh. Uh, these films are like the best post-apocalyptic sci-fi films we've ever gotten. Uh, John, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. Uh, Fury Road. You, you should know, be used to me disappointing you, though. <laughs> it's all good. This is a prequel to the uh, Mad Max Fury Road film. So if you miss Mad Max Fury Road, John, check this one out and then go check out Fury Road because I actually want to now go back and see that film again. And I'm delighted because it's so amazing. It's so much fun. Action packed. Uh, we have Anya Taylor-Joy playing the young Furiosa. We're getting her story. We also have an amazing Chris Hemsworth who plays Dementis, who is just outstanding because he's just so crazy as a villain. Such a fun ride. Everyone's going to be talking about it. But I will say, John, uh, like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes that we had recently. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit long. It's about two and a half hours. Ah. So uh, don't drink too much soda. <laughs> Just be ready for it. But you're going to be thrilled, especially with the big car chase scenes, John. Ooh. That's what this film is known for. All right. Huge car chase scenes, action packed. I love it. All right. You've got me now. And I'll try to redeem, I'll try to redeem myself. We also continue with the dystopian theme with Atlas on Netflix. What's this? Yes, John, I wanted to give everybody an alternative. If you're, the theaters are packed this weekend, it is a long weekend, you can tune over to Netflix uh, since all of us are paying for that, I'm sure. Uh, we have J-Lo. Take a, one cup of J-Lo, take one cup of Terminator, mix a little, a little bit of Siri, and you get this Atlas film, John. Um, <laughs> it's future time. We have Atlas is a brilliant scientist. These Terminators, if you will, uh, essentially AI uh, terrorists have kind of taken over and are destroying the Earth. So J-Lo uh, has to stop this, and there's a little bit of connection there. Uh, she gets into her AI robot and has a little bit of a relationship with this robot. On Skype, that's Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World, which previews the latest in film, TV, and streaming.